Anarch Domain, 11.30 p.m. MM MM is sent to parley with the Boston Anarchs in order to negotiate a false alliance. She'll need their help if she hopes to survive on Long Island. Not a real alliance, just a fake one. Which, at the end of the day, it might come back to MM. No matter what happens at the end of this, the Anarchs are probably going to be pissed at us. So that's great. 160 experience. Let's see, do we have any modifiers for anything? Premonition. Minus 20. You're minus 20 for an Auspex skill? Nothing for celerity and presence. Alright. Oh, this is free! Social! Thank you. It now means that if I try to focus using rhetoric or persuasion, I'll have to use one less willpower. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And we got it for free, too. And we still have another modifier. Minus five. Oh. Wonderful. But looks like that's it. Yeah, Mm's not gonna have Iron Fist, so I do think we need to push up her talking a little bit. Especially since my image of Mm as a Toreador is that she's good at talking and very smooth. So persuasion increasing makes sense to me. Maybe not so great with technology and stuff. I kind of want to make the characters a little bit different, you know? But even though I've been making Leisha and Gala both have Iron Fist, just because it's so handy. But um, on this side... I feel like security and technology haven't really been helping us though. Because if we're good at talking, or if we can find the key, or we find the code, then we can automatically open these things anyway. So security and technology, I'm not sure if these are really that great. Although, it does say that uh, something about... We've never even tried hacking. Or picklocking. I don't know what items MM has though, I forgot. Mm. Deduction could be useful. 100. Auspect's vision reveals premonitions. That's nice, but not really helpful in the, the present, I think. Scry the soul reveals aura of a target, which provides information about their nature or resonance. Mmm, not essential. It's kind of like Galeb's whole revealing nature thing, right? Scry the mind, dialogue power, reveals if opponent is preparing to focus their skill or not. Useful, but very expensive. Like my entire life savings level of expensive. Silver Tongue prevents opponent from focusing. Hmm. That could be useful. Scapular Demand. When your actions increase risk of opponent's focusing, reduce the risk by 30%. Silver Tongue, one less hunger. Celerity enabled us to solve a puzzle before. I mean, the taking the potion, the Tremere concoction, I think. But otherwise, being fast, is that really going to help particularly? Blink generates one less hunger. I don't think that's helpful. Not helpful enough. 120, can't even get it. Well... If we have 3 in a skill, it means that we can focus up to 5. That's really, really high. I think up until now, we've only seen one person with a 5. Stanford. In the confrontation with Caleb. So hopefully, if 4, 3 or 4 should be enough normally. Like, if I do rhetoric... Because I don't have Iron Fist. I don't have Iron Fist here. Might want to be a little bit better at talking. Not so intimidating, though. 40... Psychology? Psychology and Dominate. I don't even have Dominate. Yeah, this makes it so that the ties are... Well, focusing would cost one less willpower, which means we can do it more often. I gave up on Intimidation. <laughs> MM is not intimidating. You just do it like this, unless if there's something else that... 40 can fit into. No, 40 isn't enough. If we think a little bit ahead, is there a skill that I particularly want? Because we could try to drink somebody and get a modifier for that on purpose next time. 
you know, whatever we did before gave us a free social thing, and we still got a 5 here too. Okay, we'll just put it right there then. Is that cool? MM? Silver Tongue? I, I want to make the characters a little bit different. Even though for Leisha and Galeb, they both have Iron Fist, but um, MM's gonna be my one differentiator here, I guess. Eloquent. Three skills above three points, maybe? Lewis, over here! Hey, Saul! Took you long enough. Thanks for getting back to me. I wasn't sure you'd kept the pager. You owe me one. So, is it true? Are they really here? Yes. Ugh. I warned Thane like you asked me to. He's waiting for you. What kind of mood is he in? Worried, suspicious. Expect to be put through the grinder. We'll see about that. Any advice? Depends on what you want with him. Just don't forget that you're not welcome here. Thanks, Saul. I feel much better now. We already have two hunger for some reason. Does it carry from the last scene? Is anyone with him? Yeah, the gang leaders. He sent for them before you came. Why did he do that? Why do you think? He's defending his territory. I want to see him. Wait for me here. Randall! We're seeing the Anarch Baron. Well, their hideout is a little bit different. Okay, you can go in. Would you like a Boston district? Mr. Thane, thank you for agreeing to see me. Okay, I want to check what items a mem has. Okay, for some reason that's in French, <laughs> but I'm assuming- wait, five points for willpower? Each club card? Really? Yo, why is it all in French? <laughs> Technology plus one? That much? Oh, yeah, we're doing good for the willpower then, we shouldn't worry too hard. Yes, the computer virus. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, alright, and we also got a Tremere brooch that we cannot use now because we're in the middle of a conversation. That's fine. That sounds really condescending. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Saul told me about the SI. I got the message. Iverson didn't need to send one of her lackeys after me. That's not why Hazel sent me. Then why are you here? To... Ask for your help. The SI in Boston. Nobody saw it coming, and it's a real threat. But Hazel has a plan to get us out of this mess. Us? Since when is there an us? Don't reveal how weak we are. The SI is as much a threat to you as it is to us. The enemy of my enemy. Can we cut to the chase? We managed to pick up their trail from International Place. We know where they're hiding. They've got a base here? Yeah, on Long Island. They're more prepared than we thought. <laughs> Underestimating adversaries is your defining trait. It's worse than anything we could have imagined. When you take into consideration what happened in Vienna and London... Not many survived. It's gonna be a bloodbath for sure. But Hazel's the only one who can still keep that from happening. As arrogant as ever. At least she's got ideas. Not everyone can say the same. So what's her brilliant plan? She wants us to cover our tracks. Destroy everything they've got on us to buy us some time. How? By sending someone over there to damage their system. Me, actually. And you agreed. Okay, we don't... we don't do this, okay? <laughs> we don't uh, go telling the person being like, oh yeah, our prince is crap. 
even though I don't know do we want to do that what kind of reaction would the Baron of the Anarchs have in regards to that well let's see let's just say it was an opportunity I couldn't refuse oh the Camarilla <laughs> you are in it deeper than deep I don't see how your little operation concerns us. I need a diversion. Something big. An assault. You want to use us. I want your help. The court will be there too. Think about it. A joint attack tonight. Just long enough to wipe everything they've got on us. No, it's out of the question. Sir. We didn't leave the cam to better serve the prince. Let Iverson play her own hand. If she wants to throw herself on the pyre, that's her problem. Ceres, tell everyone to come back. We're bringing in the patrols. Okay. Well, Amem wasn't very persuasive there. How well do we know him, though? If I say, I need you, is that really gonna help? Forget Hazel. I'm the one who needs your help. I won't be able to pull this off without you. You chose the wrong side. There's nothing I can do for you. I already gave you my answer. You're free to rethink the choices you've made. And you're free to leave. You're making a huge mistake. Well, that wasn't a confrontation, so I'm led to believe that it always plays out like that. God damn it. I warned you. I can't just leave like that. We've got to be able to make him change his mind. I've already done my part. Saul, please. You can't give up on me now. <sighs> Damn it, Lewis. Does that mean yes? <sighs> there might be a way. You're gonna have to hustle. Randall called the gang leaders here for reassurance. But they could be useful to you if you manage to convince them. Do you think Dane will change his mind? Uh, there's strength in numbers. You're the head of a coterie, too. They know you. If you talk to them... And then what? I've already risked my neck for you. I get it. Are you sure that could work? Dane's gonna be pissed. That's the risk. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. All right. Let's say for a second I want to try. Who are they? Ceres and Rafa. She's in charge of the Domain's militia. He heads up a group of hackers. You'll find them inside. If I manage to pull this off, are you with me? That's my condition. I can't go up against Randall alone. It'd be too risky. Thanks. I owe you one. You already do. <laughs> I'm sentencing her to final death. Damn it. That bad? For going against the Baron? Wow. Saul. Walter Stanford. Saul. A gangrel. Oh, a gangrel. Whoa, she's very old. 1893, 11th generation, unknown sire. Saul is a well known figure among the local anarchs, whom she has associated with for many years. This rebellious gangrel biker, who was embraced in the Canadian wilderness, has always refused to join the Camarilla. She much prefers the daring of the anarchist groups and the freedom their outsider status offers. When she's not cruising the New England asphalt, Saul can be found in her hideout in Dorchester, where she manages her coterie, the Dead Ferals. The biker is one of M.M.'s and our contacts, and she has been a regular at M.M.'s club since 2011. Together, the Gangrel and the Diva have devised a system that enables exchanges between vampires in the Camarilla and certain anarch gangs. Our one friend, who we might end up killing if this doesn't work out. So that's wonderful. Walter Stanford, clan human. <laughs> Family priest. Born in 1963. Mom died in childbirth. He's the last child of the family. Dad refused to remarry. Became more absorbed in his work. Neglected being a parent. They had a textile factory in the family. Walter was rich. And there were no women around except for his sister Mary. He had three brothers, but there was a big age difference, so no deep bonds. Walter was different. He had other less material concerns. He seemed to be growing up on the fringe of this prestigious family. 
As a child, he was particularly influenced by the charisma and personality of his uncle, Pierre Stanford, a priest and confessor for the Catholic elite throughout Massachusetts. Where he started, you know, doing all this, he was, um, getting in touch with his religious side. And then some other religious people noticed him and took him under his wing. Mm-hmm. There's nothing about embraces here because he's not a vampire. <laughs> they just talked a lot about religion and the church. There was a woman that he met, Katerina Landriani. Then his dad died in Boston. And because his family was rich, the inheritance problem tore apart his whole family. And Mary took over the family business and was like, gonna cut off ties with all of you, including Walt, who never spoke to her again. And then he joined the Society of St. Leopold. And he just climbed up the ranks. In no time. Later on, he met Katarina once again. Whose behavior had been changed. She was more direct and ordered him to bring Olsmont, his mentor, to one of their night meetings. He wasn't sure why, but he obeyed. And it actually turned out that the woman was a vampire and killed his mentor, Francis Olsmont, right in front of Stanford. And then that's when he decided that he would kill all vampires. And he rose up, the, one of the youngest abbots in the history of the Society of St. Leopold. Extremely methodical, leaves his adversaries no chance but takes no pleasure in his victories. Rare are the kindred who can claim to have survived an encounter with Walter Stanford. Oh, he doesn't have a five, but intimidation and persuasion being four is very dangerous. <laughs> Rhetoric is a little bit low because it's all, it's fueled by religion, not logic. <laughs> Yeah, real a little bit. Gangrel. Wolves, animals, ferals. The wolves accept the beast as a part of themselves and run free. Whereas the Camarilla are more like, oh, let's keep the beast chained up, okay? We don't get hungry, we don't we don't start munching on people. They belong in the wild. They're outcasts, wanderers, rogues, hunters. They make havens in the poorest parts of the city and feel no shame for doing so. They claim few domains as their own, but defer to no prince. If a feral enters the city, the prince will either accept it or have to fight the feral to get them to back down. Gangrel embraces prison crew, gangs, and leaders, explorers, and anyone who sees the world as some a place to traverse, not a place to hide from. They don't care about looks or titles. Mm -hmm. Different sort of mindset. Yep. Toreador? Did we not read about this one already? I feel like we have. I don't know, it's getting kinda mixed up in my head. Clan of the Rose Divas. No, I feel like we have. Yeah, it's about how ooh, they're they're really like interested in art and stuff. They're very selective and they choose um the a certain people. Well we know enough anyway. The Baron Anarch, what is he? Is he a Bruja, perhaps? The Learned Clan. Always embraced from the ranks of those sympathetic to counterculture and revolution. They seek out allies who question normative ideas and recognizing the fire of the oppressed, they gravitate toward the underdog. Mm -hmm. Common perception plays punks, gang members, maladjusted immigrants rejected by the society that should protect them, and placard-carrying and molotov-wielding rioters among the Bruja. People who want change. People who are not satisfied with the status quo. The lawyer representing the poor pro bono, the neo-Nazi claiming to be alt-right, and the basement dweller downloading thousands of movies illegally for redistribution on streaming sites. <laughs> okay. Wow. Passionate fighters, but also critical thinkers. Activists, sociology students, people who have survived near-death experiences. Yeah, 
might give off the impression of being very violent, but no, they're they're intelligent as well. Okay. Nightbird. Pretty little flower, when death is not the end. No kidding. I can't just leave like that. We saw Sarah's just now. It's locked. Yes, we gotta go talk to the gang leaders. They're more welcoming than at the court. Well, that's uh, that's a good thing. Space is limited. First come, first serve. Leave at sundown. Please store your things on the shelves. If you need a bed for more than one day, tell Sarah's. This is neutral territory. Incident equals banishment. Oh, anybody can come here. That's kind of nice. That's fancy. Cuban mahogany. We've got expensive taste. Nosferu. I feel like we might have some Toreadors here too. All these movie posters. Are we stealing from people's bunks? Is that what we're doing? Because I think so. It's a pretty basic setup. Impersonal. Anybody got any club business cards? Nope. It's not the greatest place to live at, but hey, when you've got nothing, this is great. Got a roof over your head? That's all we could ever ask for. I think I'm alone now. Bunch of eyes. Blood. Revenge. Those who say that pardon does not work should try revenge and see. Well, it's a far cry from the glitz and glamour of the court. Not particularly affluent, just by the nature of what they believe in. They believe in societal change. They're not gonna try to climb that capitalistic structure and become rich and all that. They really got a good setup here. Oh, hey. Hi. We can pick it. Whoa, we're not sucking on any other vampires here. <laughs> But you know, just in case. That must be the Baron's office. Is that okay that we're seen in here? Well, only if we get seen. Report allies and supporters. Lucio, slippery as an eel. Ambitions will probably turn against me one day, but he's still loyal. Ceres has already had several run-ins with his guys, who sometimes mess a little too much with a masquerade. Other than that, pretty okay. Rafa, pragmatic, which is why he sticks with me. Doesn't really like me, but he understands my strength. Even if it's not out of the kindness of his heart, his guys have already given us a hand now, now and then. Equipment, connection, security. Okay, Rafa is a pragmatic guy. That might help. Saul, dead ferals. Maybe mobile and very independent, but she's always been there when I called. She's attached to her group and will inevitably choose her crew before us. Her crew is mostly ferals, gangrels, they roam all over the state and have a hideout in Dorchester. Whammon? Whammon is the oldest anarch around. He's been through everything. He is the head of a group of licks. What is licks? His age is a huge asset. He rejects my authority, but he's not violent. He just ignores me. But if he's old, would he also have to worry about the beckoning? I would assume so. J61. Okay. March 24, 2014. Dear Thane, my sire gave in to the beckoning, but I haven't. I'm still here, and I'm watching you. I saw what you did. How quickly you jumped at the chance to seize his domain and set your dogs there. But this land doesn't belong to you. You're a thief, Randall, a parasite. And sooner or later, you'll pay for what you've done to my blood. Ooh, people don't like him. A Job Carver. 
All right. Wonder why he kept that one letter. Just as a reminder that people don't like him. Dear Mr. Thane, I reached out to my friend who works with the antique dealers again, and the answer was negative. Ceres was right. It's far too risky. The police are monitoring public and private collections all over the country, and potential buyers are too nervous to take a chance. Even those who are used to dealing in contraband would rather look the other way. It's really too bad. A specimen of this type that's so complete must be worth a fortune. It would be best to wait a few years and sell it off quietly, even selling it piece by piece if we have to. But considering the buzz caused by Tanya's heist, I doubt we'll ever find a trustworthy buyer. The kind that won't turn us into the cops. If we can't make a profit off this old thing, maybe we could exhibit it? I've seen it up close, and it's a really beautiful dinosaur. It's impressive. I'm sure it would be a hit at the future group gatherings. If you have any questions, just let me know, Vinny. Mm, we saw the dinosaur outside. Apparently very expensive and all that. Well, we got a key card. I forgot which skill is which. I'm just activating a whole bunch of them. Hoping we'll see something eventually. Key to the tunnels. Yeah, that's a dinosaur. There's people downstairs. Safe room. Mm -hmm. No, this was unlocked already. Mm, okay, we didn't find this key yet. Yeah. Just looking around. Hey everyone. You know everyone here is an anarch because they're all wearing leather jackets. But so am I! Well, things have sure changed around here since last time. Dane's made himself at home. Seems like the Baron is becoming more influential. Wait a few years and he'll have built himself a throne room. <laughs> Is that really so different from the Camarilla Prince? Nice. It's... The size is impressive. Anarch Street Art Vampires often communicate covertly using marks sometimes called the Vampire Cant. Similar to modern gang tags, subvertisements, and graffiti. These public works of art or vandalism contain jargon, coded symbols, or archaic terms that signal meaning to fellow kindred, and hopefully only to them. Oh, interesting. Alright, I want to see the rest of this. Uh, it won't let me look away. Yeah, there's some new stuff here. The Prince's Refuge. If a kindred's haven is a reflection of their soul, the high rise on Nashua Street leaves little doubt to Hazen Iverson's nature. Yet we have a gigantic tower. Do they really not know where we are? The SI? An expert blend of the ventrue love of wealth and a vampire's taste for concealment, the high rise was built especially for her on land that had been in her mortal family for ages. When the old building was to be demolished, the land was ceded to a dummy corporation who hastened to have a fake construction project approved. An architectural firm affiliated with the Iverson Empire worked to convert several floors of the new tower into luxury apartments. Finally, the construction was done with a sufficiently high crew turnover to prevent too much precise monitoring of the actual plans. The lower floors were occupied by inconspicuous companies owned by Hazel Iverson, who kept the upper floors for her own personal use. The place is a symbol of the unprecedented concentration of power in the Boston domain and has never left the local Camarilla indifferent but the swan pays no heed to the squawking in the barnyard. In two days, the swan's head will be cut off or something. Maybe we gotta worry about that. Completely different type of atmosphere. Probably they can only tolerate me because I'm the owner of some of the clubs. I interrupted classic movie night. This is not even moving. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Sorry. What the hell are you still doing here? I was told I could stay. 
Who told you that? Does they know? Go away. I wouldn't be here if he didn't. It's not like him to fraternize with the enemy. Are you challenging his decision? No. What do you want? You might be able to help me. I'm looking for your leader. Do you know where he is? What do I look like? His sire? Find him yourself. I bet you know everyone around here. Including Saris. What can you tell me about her? Go talk to Mr. Asshat. He'll know more than me. Who? Saris is second. <laughs> Yardley. You'll find him near the train car. Sounds like you like him. I'm out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Best news I've heard all night. Well, yeah, you know what? Your mask is so tacky, I don't even know why. You think you're so cool? You're not even sitting on a chair. The Second Inquisition, is it? We're in some pretty deep shit, thanks to your prince. Is it really our prince's fault, though? You guys are here, too. Where there are vampires, there will be a sigh. Rock foul construction. Facade work. Assemble scaffolding. Change damage panels. Install new panels. Building this building? For a few dollars, the man who has nothing to lose. Another film. Key from quote. A little dusty. Oh, the, the quote as in this quote. So it probably opened something. Monster. That Sarah seems to be pretty powerful. I'm not available. Just leave the documents and stuff on the small table. Emergency, call Sarah's. We should take the paper too, so they don't know there was a key here to begin with. All right. What kind of dinosaur is this? One that's in the water? It looks like it might be a swimmer. Hello? Bad timing. I'm not in the mood. Is your machine acting up? My computer's fine. It's the network that's on the fritz. What a shithole. Whoa, you're using a really new computer. It's freaking Windows XP. It looks like you have Winamp open or something. Ah, they don't really care about the whole like... Like using old technology to avoid detection thing. Bad timing. I'm not in the mood. Is your machine acting up? My computer's fine. It's the network that's on the fritz. What a shithole. Because that laptop is unironically pretty new. Not 2019 new, but hey. Hello? Who are you? Sorry, I don't really want to talk right now. Especially not with a chick from the camp. Are you sure you're alright? No, I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. I came to help. And I could help you too. I'm a good listener. You can tell me anything. I... It's just... The SI. I have a family. Do you understand? My kids? Oh. How Wait, how do you they? have a family? Eight and twelve. I don't want to lose them. What do you mean you have a family? Are they vampire kids? Cheer up. The night is still young. We're gonna get those bastards. They won't lay a finger on your kids. I hope you're right. Camarilla frowns on having a family. Is that why you joined the Anarchs? Yes and no. I'm a thin blood. 
It was only a matter of time. She's human. Joining the Anarchs was a matter of survival. Hmm. Didn't you have any other options? I could have left the city, but where could I have gone? The cam is everywhere. And you hate us. I was hopeless. I don't hate you. <laughs> what good is that to me? You're not the prince. <sighs> I'm sorry, but your opinion doesn't carry weight. If that's your take on things, you're right. I sure hope things will change for you. For things to change? We need friends in the court, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Huh. <sighs> you were right. It helps. Thanks. No problem. Did you want to ask me something? Hey, speaking of friends, where on earth are the Tremere, the Hartford Chantry? We had a whole alliance set up. Shouldn't we be looking for them? The Nev Osborne. I was thinking about it because this lady is saying, your opinion means nothing. I need the prince's assurance. But remember how the Nev Osborne was like, oh, you speak for the prince. You can give me a whole district. <laughs> I'm looking for someone called Rafa. Do you know where I can find him? You should go check with Gladys. Where is it? Down by the docks. It? You can't miss it. Do you know who Ceres is? Yeah. Why? What can you tell me about her? She's at the Baron's right hand. She's in charge of security. What's she like? Not the warm fuzzy type. But she's efficient. At least that's the impression she gives off. Oh. Then we're bound to get along. See you later. Bye. Maybe she's just doing the absolute bare minimum to make herself look like she's competent. Well, who knows? Gladys by the docks. I haven't had time to go hunting, and I'm on duty tonight. I don't give a shit. You should have eaten earlier. But I promise I won't damage her. Yardley will never know. Please, I need this. Wow. I warned you. <laughs> Next time, it won't be your balls getting popped. It'll be your head. Shit! Fucking thin blood. I just need a little blood. They don't have a very good vessel system here. Not like us. We just feast. Because something something rich and capitalist society. The lock must be on the other side. Hello? Hey. Not now. Okay. Boxing club. Good. Again. One, two, one, two! Why are you making Control your beast, Effie! Voice. One, two, Shut one, up. two! Excuse me. Get out of here. Is there a problem? You've got no business here. Go back to crawling around at Iverson's feet. Mm. Stay calm, girl. They're not wrong. <laughs> They're not wrong. This is a waste of my time. Just practicing. Hello. What are you still doing here? It's ravaging your lockers. Duh. I need items. And you've got items. They should never have let her in here. The gloves protect their gear, not their fists. Hmm. That's... That's all we get to see? That seems kind of random. The gloves protect their gear, not their fists. Huh. Boxing tournament on Saturday, March 7th, at 11 at 19 p.m. Who says that? 19 p.m.? That doesn't even make any sense. New cell? New Cell is a new group of vampires, yeah, Fiend in Brighton. Go underground. It's probably for the best. 
The geeks answer Randall's call. They'll be here tonight. I need two volunteers to clean up the docks before they get here. Is it okay that I'm in here? They don't mind? Okie dokie. I went to check Hangar 19 earlier. It's a fucking mess. The place is disgusting. There are homeless people everywhere and it reeks of vomit. I was already against letting Yardley play the trafficker, but this is too much. We're hunters, not fucking scavengers. Do something. Effie. Keep fighting. Maybe we can use some of the information we're picking up off the documents around here. Anybody want to talk? This is really it? Just the one document? No desk drawers? Okay. Yo, what? I found him drooling over my vessels. It's unacceptable. Do you really think now is the time for this? They're only here for a few hours, damn it. Relax. No. Either you tell Saul to call off her dogs, or I'll do it. Oh, now you're the one giving me orders. I forbid you to go anywhere near her. Do I make myself clear? That's an order. Dumb bitch. Somebody's here. Now that's Sarah's, isn't it? We saw her earlier in the room. Do you mind if we talk? The door's closed. There's no way to open it from this side. Oh, now she's going in. Are you... Hi. Saris, I need to talk to you. Randall told you to leave. He didn't say when. Oh, you think you're clever. What do you want? We have to talk about the SI. There's nothing more to be said. Randall was perfectly clear. He's making a mistake. The whole city's in danger. Don't waste your breath. I don't listen to the court's underlings. Now get out of here. Saris, just hear me out. Get out. God damn it. Hmm. If I want them to back me, I need to find a solution. She's the head of the militia. And Rafa is the head of the hackers, so she won't even hear me out. Look who's back. I know you missed me. <laughs> I'll be going now. Hmm. She's like, what the hell? There's a door that we can't open from this side. Maybe there's a secret door somewhere. Something about facade work. Hey. Yardley. I see what you're trying to do. Is that a threat? You're way off. I'm on your side. I want to help. Why would you take that risk? Well, because our survival depends on it. This isn't the first time Cirrus has put us in danger. And what do you suggest? An exchange of mutual benefit. Do you know why Cirrus disagrees with your plan? Out of loyalty, I guess. No, that's part of it, for sure, but that's not all. It's because of the Crimson Oaks. I've heard of them. I remember those guys. Hazel hated them. There was a time she fought with them. I thought they disappeared. Their leaders fled after the fall of London. Most of them followed, but others stayed behind and went underground. I see, but what's the connection with Ceres? <laughs> she works for them, and she seems to be pretty attached to their agreement. What agreement? The Crimson Oaks. Didn't that term come up in, um... I think, a computer? Caius's computer, I believe? Actually, where is it? It's not even here. Oh, have we read about it already? 
It's not a clan, is it? No. Oh, we must have. Okay, uh, it, they just say they've tried to kill the prince. That's it. We don't even know what they believe in, anything. But they have an agreement with Ceres. Or are the Anarchs. What kind of agreement is it? What do you do for them? I don't do anything. Ceres deals with that. As far as I understand, she runs logistics for them. She rents boats, houses. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems big. If Ceres works for them, that would explain why she won't help Hazel. Yeah, but I got a plan for that. It won't be pretty, but it'll be good for the both of us. You in? Do you want to take her power? Is that what's happening here? You're doing this for your own benefit as well. I need more details. Uh-uh. Not till you agree. So, are you with me or not? Sure, I suppose. I'm with you. Alright. Then listen carefully. I've got dirt on Sirius. Bank accounts. The kind of stuff that's shady enough to get her kicked out of the coterie for good. Let me guess. Your files prove she's skimming money off the top. Am I right? Bingo. And is it true? That's not important. Oh. You couldn't find anything to blame her for, could you? I got tons of things to blame her for. But nothing blaring, you're guilty. All that matters is getting rid of her. If Cirrus is out, then I'll replace her, and I'll help you. You seem... I don't know, though. She didn't even actually do this. You're just framing her. I doubt a couple pieces of paper will be enough to push her out the door. Yeah? Well, think again. We don't have the same resources you do. So, if we were to find out, she's been helping herself to the little we have. How long have you been sitting on these papers? I've been preparing all of this for a couple of months. I was just waiting for the right time to make my move. You're using me. I'm friggin' trying to help you. What are you planning to do with your little papers? You can't just whip them out like that. Somebody's gotta find them. And for that to happen, I need you to help me plant them somewhere. Where? In Ceres' personal safe. It's in a secure room. You'll need this pass to get in. Great. Is there a code? For the safe, I mean. It's not a code. It's a card. Here. You'll find it upstairs. Any questions? Are you the only person who has a card? Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, why don't you do it? Why do you... Hmm. Why don't you do it yourself? We'd save time. I can't. Too risky. I could get caught. What would you have done if I hadn't come along? I would have found another solution. <laughs> another sucker. Call it whatever you want to call it. Do you own the key officially or did you steal it somewhere? If you stole it somewhere... The stealing is already kind of compromising your position. <laughs> On second thought, I could go see Saris and tell her everything. Oh, and you think she'd believe you? I've got proof. <laughs> That'd be risky. You'd lose the only ally you've ever had. <laughs> Good point. I'll see. Just to be sure, could you go over all that again? Yeah, alright. I gave you the files. You have to plant them in Saris' safe. It's in the safe room, upstairs. Got it? Got it. I think that's about it. In that case, I'll arrange to get you access to upstairs. Here, take the files. Come back when you got some news. I'm counting on you. I don't think I have any other choice. Do I have to? I wonder what else he's hiding. There may be more going on here. We might want to sit on this a little bit, just walk around and... We'll see if we find anything else more interesting. I don't have a particular attachment to anybody, so I guess either one is fine. 
doctorate files. Okay, okay, I'll... I'll keep it all in mind. Everywhere you go, Camarilla, Anarchs, there's always some sort of power struggle. Ugh, how can they live in that? What, the bullseye? The bullseye on the wall? What's wrong with it? Yardley, I fixed the transformer, but Sarah's isn't happy. She doesn't want me to mess with it anymore, so stop making it blow. Oh, what are you doing here? He's been messing with a transformer? Hey. Any news? Not yet. I'm working on it. Then what are you doing here? I heard you fuming over Saul earlier. I found some of her ferals skulking around my vessels. They couldn't get out of here soon enough. I'm fed up with them. Are you not much for company? No, not when they're making themselves at home in my territory. Before you friggin' know it, they're pissing on the walls. Even among the little gangs here, the ga they don't get along, even though they're all grouped under Anarchs. It's kind of like us, right? We don't get along. Freaking Primogen and the Prince are arguing. About that job you gave me. Yes? Nothing right now. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Ooh. If she thinks I'm gonna be silenced. <laughs> hey, this kinda... There's an interesting sewer hole here. Alright. Oh. Damn, girl. Hmm. Who knows where these tunnels could lead? I totally got a tunnel key earlier. It'll lead us to somewhere we're not supposed to be. And, with any luck, we'll find some rats here too. Definitely not beyond eating rats. No siree. Haha. -ha. But low security lock either way. Yeah. What? Come on, nobody saw that. What the hell? Oh, that's a trait. 22 plus one difficulty in psychology. Well, it might be because we missed the item last time. The one item on the previous level. What the hell, man? But we gotta... There's nobody here! Why are they mad about the rat? Every single time a man feeds on a rat. This always happens. Hmm. Okay, we have another opening there. Yup. Oh, celerity. Celerity spot. Interesting. Let me look on this side first. We haven't even looked at the entire above ground section yet. Now we're like in the undergrounds. I don't even know where we're going. Oh god. He looks like a junkie. From the position of the body, I'd say he fell off the ladder. Must have been a thin blood. What's he holding? What was he doing here? Trying to escape. Magnetic key. Oh, it's not even... Oh, it's a uh, consumable. Okay. Alright. Well, rest in peace, my friend. <laughs>